Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. I got a CCNP route and T-shoot video practice exam and some great practical lab work on OSPF redistribution and troubleshooting. I'm going to bring a board up in about 10 seconds with five statements on it. You need to tell me if they're true or false and also maybe a little bit about why. And also, even if you think you know all the answers to all five, stick around because I've got a great lab for you here as well where we're going to do some redistribution and see this info in action. So here are the five statements, true or false, about OSPF redistribution. And I mean by that redistribution into OSPF. First, the use of subnets in the command is not required. Secondly, there is a seed metric, so a metric need not be set in the redistribution command. And if there is a seed metric, you need to tell me what it is. Third, the default code for routes redistributed into OSPF is E1. Fourth, the default codes for those routes is not E1. And finally, by default, the metric for routes redistributed into OSPF reflects the cost from the local router to the router performing the redistribution rather than the actual destination network. Okay, if you want to pause the video right there, that's a great idea. Uh, before we get to the lab, just a quick word here about my video boot camps on Udemy. All of us here at TBA want to thank you. We're well over the 7,000 mark and approaching 8,000 students in these courses. Some paid, some free, all great. And right now, you get 60% off every course with the coupon code BULLDOG60. Uh, that means my CCNA course is $49. Every one of my individual CCNP courses, only $49. Fully downloadable. Stream them online anytime you like. Your uh, access does not expire. My new security course pre-sale and preview starts October 29th. We're going to launch that at $49 as well. If you want to check out the full list, because we've got a lot more courses coming in 2012 and 2013, uh, it's udemy.com slash u slash Chris Bryant. So thanks again, and please do check that out. There's some great material out there for you. Now let's go ahead and hit these five statements again. The first one, the subnets command is not required. Well, let's test that in the lab. And here we've got an adjacency between routers 1 and 3. And on router 3, you can see I've run show IP router OSPF. Now just a quick pop quiz, what does that IA mean? That IA means just that these destinations are in other areas, right? Because we run the full command, show IP route. We've got our IA right here, OSPF enter area route. Now we've also got these two routes right here, and this is what we're going to come back to, these E1 and E2 routes and exactly what they mean. But right now, let's do a little bit of redistribution up on router 1. And we've got another loop back on router one. I believe we can see that right here. Yep, we've got another one there. Let me do a show interface loop one. And this is another one I created. It's got 11 for each octet. That's what we're going to work with right now. And instead of just enabling that with OSPF, let's do some redistribution. And we'll do a conf t router OSPF one redistribute. And we've got, of course, all these options. And what we're going to do is redistribute connected. And we've got some options here, including subnets. Consider subnets for redistribution in OSPF. That's so formal sounding. But you see that the CR is here, which means this is a legal command. So the subnets option is indeed that. It's an option, but it's an option I would use if you want to see your subnets. And anytime you're doing redistribution into OSPF, and you start running your routing tables and everything looks a little odd. You know, you're seeing major networks but not subnets. Uh, that's probably what you left out. So let's go ahead and set subnets. And we're just going to go with that. So we'll come back to that in just a moment. Now subnets is not required. That ended up being true. Now I also did not set a seed metric. So a metric need not be set in the redistribution command. That's actually true. You can change the default seed metric if you want to. And what's that default seed metric? It's 20. Very important value. Now, what's the default code for routes redistributed into OSPF? Let's go down to router 3 and check that out. And here is the route OE2. E2 is actually the default. So the third statement 
is false and the fourth statement therefore has to be true it's e2 now you want to watch this one and I'm gonna show you how to change that too and you'll see how the cost changes because I gave you kind of a long-winded here uh, statement for the last one the metric for routes redistributed into OSPF we know that's e2 reflects the cost from the local router to the router performing the redistribution rather than from the local router to the destination network well actually that's false and it's really easy if you're in a little bit of a hurry to look at and say oh yeah that's true because I know that E2 routes don't reflect the entire cost well they don't but an E2 route what it actually reflects what the cost reflects is the cost from the ASBR the router doing the redistribution to the destination network it's actually the cost of the path from the local router to the ASBR that is left out and let's check this out and we'll do a little bit of extra command I'm gonna stop the clock here we're gonna go a little long but I want you to see this it's good stuff so you see the metric right here is 20 and that's our seed metric that's what we have now what if we go back to router 1 and make this an E1 route what change would we see now let's go ahead and check that out I'm gonna take that first redistribution off and I'll just do a there we go and let's do a redistribute connected subnets and look at our options again I've got a new setup with the microphone here so we can get used to it um, the one we're looking at here is metric type you can see that you can actually change the metric here metric for redistributed routes but what we're going to use is metric type got a lot of practice with this one and it's simply one or two after so that's a good thing to know for your exam as well what's that number on the end of this command and that's the kind of metrics we're going to use so you just put one in and we still have other options but we're going to go with that so let's go down to router 3 and you can see that the cost has changed and it has changed to 84 so you know another great practice question would be okay if with E2 it has a seed metric of 20 and with E1 it's got a seed metric of 84 what kind of path exists between router 3 you know what's the cost between router 3 and router 1 and it would be 64 which of course is the OSPF default for a serial interface so a lot of great stuff there a lot of details to watch with OSPF route redistribution thank you so much for watching today's video I'm Chris Bryan and thanks for making TBA part of your CCNP success story